Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain about the introduction of nanoscience and nanotechnology. As you can see, in this video, I'm not going to write anything on the board. Instead, I'm going to show some slides by which we can understand everything related to the topic. In this video, I'm going to explain about what are nanoscience and nanotechnology, what are nanomaterials, what are the types of nanomaterials and many more questions such that. So let's start. This is the first part of introduction of nanoscience and nanotechnology. The biggest question is what are nanomaterials? Let's see the answer of that. Nanomaterials are materials having at least one of their dimensions that is length, breadth or height in nanoscopic range. Nanoscopic range means the length between 1 to 100 nanometer. So within which if anything lies that thing is called nanomaterials. And if any of the dimensions, dimensions mean the length, breadth or height or the length along x axis, y axis and z axis. If any of the length is within nanoscopic range that is 1 to 100 nanometer then those substances are called nanomaterials. The range is called nanoscale range that 1 to 100 nanometer range is called nanoscale range. Nano means dwarf, dwarf means small, that is in Greek language. So in Greek language, dwarf means very small and nano means dwarf. So you can understand nano means very small things. 1 nanometer equals 10 to the power 9 meter and 1 nanometer is equal to a billionth of a meter. So if you want to know how small 1 nanometer length actually is, then you can consider that if you take one meter rod and you make them pieces and you get one billion of pieces okay having equal length then that one piece has the length equal to one nanometer just imagine one billion pieces so that is how small one nanometer length actually is we cannot even see it with our naked eye you can see a small comparison of different things here you can see water molecule whose uh, diameter is 0.1 nanometer glucose 1 nanometer antibody 10 nanometer virus 100 nanometer and so on so these things are so small can we see the water molecule no can we see the glucose with our naked eye no can we see antibody with our uh, naked eye no can we see virus with our naked eye no so these things are so small they have their dimensions in nanoscopic range that's why we cannot even see it so nanomaterials means the smallest thing okay they are very small things so the next important question is how are nanomaterials classified nanomaterials are classified on the basis of their dimensions the first classification is zero dimensional nanomaterials or 0d nanomaterials you can see the definition of it in such nanomaterials all three length scales that is lx ly and lz are in nanoscopic range that means if all the three length that is length breadth or height is in nanoscopic range nanoscopic range means within 1 to 100 nanometer then that type of substances are called zero dimensional nanomaterials examples are quantum dots and nanosphere these things have their all the dimensions that is length breadth and height within the nanoscopic range so they are called 0d nanomaterials similarly the second one is one dimensional nanomaterials or 1d nanomaterials in such nanomaterials one of the dimension is out of nanoscopic range that means length breadth or height any of them is out of the nanoscopic range their value will be more than 100 nanometer so those materials whose length breadth or height only one of them has the value more than 100 nanometer is called one dimensional nanomaterials you can see the example this is nanowire and this is the nanotube you can see its length is more than 100 nanometer but its diameter is not that much long so these are the one dimensional nanomaterials because their only one dimension is more than 100 nanometers 
Similarly, the third one is two-dimensional nanomaterials or 2D nanomaterials. In such materials, any two dimensions are out of nanoscopic range. Examples, nano coatings, nano sheet, nano films, etc. So we can just think of that. If length, breadth and height are three dimensions, then any two, okay, that may be length and breadth, length and height, breadth and height, any two dimensions will have their values more than 100 nanometer and the third quantity have the have its value less than 100 nanometer that is within the nanoscopic range. So those type of substances are called 2D nanomaterials. 2D means like a paper. If you see a paper, what you see? The length and breadth are very long, but the thickness is very less, right? So that is just like that. See, this is nano coating and here it is nano sheet. These have lengths and breadths more than 100 nanometer but its height is less than 100 nanometers and the last one is three dimensional nanomaterials or 3d nanomaterials in such nanomaterials any three dimensions are out of nanoscopic range any three means all the three okay such materials are also called bulk materials example grains sands etc so in this case none of the dimensions is within the nanoscopic range they are all bigger than or they are all higher than 100 nanometer range okay so these are some examples you can see these grains we can see it easily it's all the dimensions are out of nanoscopic range that is more than 100 nanometer similarly in sand the same thing happens so these are the three dimensional nanomaterials another big question is what are nanoparticles? We often hear this term nanoparticles, but we don't actually know the meaning of it. So let's see what are nanoparticles. Nanoparticles and nanomaterials almost have same meaning. They are almost same, but there is a difference. Let's see what is that difference. Nanomaterials are the substance having any side in nanoscopic range. Okay, nanomaterials are those substance having at least one of their side that is length, breadth or height inside the nanoscopic range, right? They are called nanomaterials. But in case of nanoparticles, all the sides should be inside the nanoscopic range. All the sides, length, breadth and height, they must be uh, inside the nanoscopic range. That is their values must be less than 100 nanometer so nanoparticles are only zero dimensional nanomaterials there are other nanomaterials as well one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional they are not called nanoparticles because their size is more than 100 nanometer so only zero dimensional nanomaterials are called as nanoparticles so the thing to remember is that all nanoparticles that we see are nanomaterials but not all the nanomaterials are nanoparticles so this is a very important line to remember so nanoparticles can be metallic example nano rod and nano sphere of gold and silver so these are the metallic nanoparticles nanoparticles can be semiconducting example cadmium sulfide silicon quantum dots these are the semiconducting nanoparticles similarly nanoparticles can be insulating like silicon dioxide nanosphere polymeric nanosphere nano rods etc these are the insulating nanoparticles as well as there are hybrid type of nanoparticles they are gold core encapsulated by silicon dioxide cell these are the hybrid type of nanoparticles so from this we can know that there are different types of nanoparticles as well now another question is what is nanoscience and nanotechnology we often get confused by these two terms nanoscience and nanotechnology is there really any difference between them let's see that so here this is the definition for nanoscience Nanoscience is a study of materials having dimensions in nanoscopic scale that is 1 to 100 nanometer. So nanoscience is the study of materials. Okay. Nanoscience focuses on the study of physical, chemical and biological properties of nanoscale materials. It gives theoretical concepts only. So that means Nanoscience is the concept or nanoscience is the way to interpret the physical, chemical and biological properties of the nanoscale just by giving the theoretical concept. In nanoscience, we just think of it and we give the theoretical concept. Similarly, 
nanotechnology concentrates on engineering and application aspects of nanoscope nanoscale materials it tries to engineer functional materials by using laws or principles provided by the nano science so nanotechnology means actually doing something okay it is the engineering and application aspect okay it is the engineering so in nanotechnology we prepare many things by using nano science this is the actual physical doing thing so you can see the first figure that scientist is thinking that means he is using nano science you can consider like that he is using nano science he is just thinking of the ways he is just thinking of the principles and in second process that scientist is actually performing the task he is performing the practical so that is like nanotechnology so this is the difference between nano science and nanotechnology nano science means thinking and giving the principle nanotechnology means actually doing and proving that principle okay actually doing and proving that principle whether that is correct or not so that's all in this video thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel as well i'll soon come with the second part of this topic